Greetings world, I am a Richard. For today's video, I'm going to be looking into our PM Trudeau, Canada. So I'm not going to give too much of an intro. On this individual, I don't think that I need to. I think that all Canadians and the world know just enough about him that I'm not going to actually lose uh, my time with explaining everything about this person to you. Like, we all pretty know. And um, for all of you who are not Canadians, me as a Canadian, I can tell you that from the very beginning, whenever he has said stuff like he speaks for all Canadians, that is not true. That is not true for me and most of us Canadians. I will do add before doing a spread on him is that a lot, a lot of people that I do know, a lot of people who did back, like, or love Trudeau have suddenly switch or jumped ships. So, you know, I mean, that speaks volumes, right? But that is not the question about his popularity, which is da, 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 da. And I like that because I do not like this man. But without further ado, higher self over soul in the universe. Tell me everything I need to know, everything I need to see regarding Justin Trudeau. I want to know what is going on right now with him and what holds for his future. Everything regarding him. Let's see. Let's cut. Let's rock and roll. All right. So the first card, guys, that comes for this man is he is in the fear of the unknown with the two of swords. Blinded at a cross point. Unable to see what is around in back of him. So this being the first card, he is quite stressed out. I don't think we can blame him. And okay, so that is in a political card. I've said this before and I'll say it again. This is my movie card, script card. So whatever is going on, it is scripted. Scripted and probably sponsored by the white hats. But I'm not gonna go too far out. All I know is there's a lot of stress here and everything that we are seeing on the world, um, the world stage uh, regarding politics, regarding him, it is scripted. So maybe his takedown has been scripted in order to help waken those who have been stuck in traffic perhaps. Moving on, yes, we're taming the beast by the mouth with the strength. So another major arcana here. Taming the beast by the mouth with strength. Moving on. So this is a financial gift from the universe, the Ace of Pentacles. So either something tangible that is offered or about the financial system. I mean, I do know that in Canada we are incredibly taxed. And I believe that it is no longer um, Toronto, Vancouver, but recently reported to be in Montreal, my uh, hometown. So we got the Ace of Pentacles. At the heart to beat, we got the Queen of Pentacles, followed by the Tower Moment. Okay, so in this now spread, we're talking about the financial system and we are talking about it crashing. Its foundation is built on sand and everything is crumbling. So something very shocking is coming. So whatever is in regards to him, I mean, the now moment is all talking about like the financial system here and it is crashing. All right, let's look into the future. We do have a collaboration. So something else is coming online with the financial system. Two platforms collaborating. And again, the pentacles up there, that is, this is finance. So whatever is happening with him now has got a lot to do with the financial system. Is it because of the high taxation of taxing, like you breathing, you walking, you fighting, like, and that's coming to a crash? But after the crash in the future, there's a new collaboration 
Very interesting. Okay, it's definitely about uh, the finance. These are all pentacles. So this is um, a rebalancement. It's a generosity card. In this case, it's not about uh, giving peanuts or breadcrumbing because this is coming after the tower. So this would be like a, a, a justice rebalancing generosity coming from whoever uh, we are collaborating with on a higher platform after this tower moment. And then my ninth card is a victory. We're back from war. Okay. Wow. So I did not know this was going to come here, but uh, it's got to do a lot about, uh, in his case, maybe it's all about us as well, uh, the fear of the unknown. Right, we're very stressed at a cross point. So that could either be him and or slash us. But whatever we're seeing around him, it is a but a script, okay? So I believe that he's already been dealt with as many on the world stage. Uh, I mean, like I've mentioned this over and over and I could be a broken record to some, but I'm gonna read it how I see it and how my higher self is making me feel uh, what these cards are representing. Um, we got doubles everywhere. I mean, the CIA had been, uh, is now today openly verbal and public about in the 60s, how they were doing masking. And even presidents at that time, when tested, uh, was in disbelief as this woman that worked for special effect in the CIA had come to uh, see uh, the president, was it Bush? I'm not really good with who was when, but let's just, for the sake of it and save time, say it's Bush. She's sitting in front of him with the CIA and talking about like their uh, special effect technology. And after this speech, the, direct, uh, the president wanted an example and she took off her mask and he was in disbelief. That's how real it looked back then. So I believe that this one that we're seeing and is not the real original him. I think it is a body double, it is an actor, it is a mask, because this second card about this fear of the unknown at a cross point is a script. Because we're taming the beast by the mouth. So what are we taming by the beast, uh, the, the mouth? So this is a strength, right? And I think this is about humanity, Canadians, anyone in such a situation worldwide about this uh, cross uh, standstill stress blinded to a scenario because in the second row we got something coming from the universe or granted the universe so aces are alpha cards right and pentacles is tangible and finances and gold coins are tangible at the center so we got the queen of pentacles she is like mother nature right she is very grounding she is very generous she is a birthing she provides then we're gonna have, so this is coming up next, the tower card, something very shocking, built, foundation is built on sand. Of course, it's gonna collapse, right? I mean, the Federal Reserve, all this is collapsing. If you follow like uh, uh, the gangster bankster and uh, all these uh, Kazarian banks going down around the world, right? It was built on Sanders Foundation. It was never about um, freeing humanity. It was about enslaving humanity. And in the future, so say after this tower moment, we got a collaboration. So something new, a new financial system is coming up. So someone wiser, someone well calculated, we're collaborating with them. So it'll be a work in progress, right? And what about generosity? Because again, placed here after the tower, this is not about bread crumbing or giving peanuts like in our past. This is a new rebalancement, a new generosity. And we are back from more victorious, right? Every time we got a reef, this is a high celebration. Back from war, slain the evil green ugly witch, and the whole villagers are cheering us on. So now we're going to go uh, into my clarifying spread. I'm doing it a little different, but that doesn't matter. Yes, something has come to an end. So that it goes with the magician, right? So that whole 
illusion, delusion, smoke and mirrors of our past, the past that we start off at the fear of the unknown, is a death card. It's a death card about smoke and mirrors, illusion, delusion. The moon and the magician go very much hand in hand. So that's my first of my clarifiers. And then we have, yes. So although we might be blasé, bored, um, tired, exhausted, the universe is bringing us emotional support. So we have to take it upon a responsibility and master our, um, our emotions, our state of mind, mind your thoughts, be hopeful and don't get too sucked into what seems like things are not going to change. When is it going to pop? When is like it's happening all around us. We just have to be aware and do a minimal of research. But looking around all the world, yes, it looks confusing and stressful. But the old car, uh, the old guard, the old world is crumbling, guys. It can't be smooth, this crumble. It was all made to enslave us. So now we have to see what we were under. So it makes sense. So we have to be very mindful of our thoughts and not get discouraged or lose hope because we have coming in right here a lot of emotional support. And finally, yes, so the Knight of Cups. So he would be like Prince Charming, slow, steadfast, coming in with an emotional message. All right, so where do I have my golden... Ah, give me a second, please. They're on my stand. My golden major arcanas for <laughs> final message. So we got this guy. Uh, that was under the deck. So that's what we are leaving, right? Like that's what we're crumbling from, uh, that guard. So I'm still going to spam. That was just the under deck. So give me a final a message, universe, how yourself, a word of advice regarding the spread I just did. So kind of funny, I started off with a Trudeau card, but it went to a whole financial system. So I guess it is one of a side. And with a magician, like whoever is... You know, on stage right now, who has been nefarious and not very good, like most of them are. Well, you know, guys, it's it's keeping up appearances. There's a script there. So I think that's why we're not going more into him. He's not going to be standing much longer. He's not there anymore. Whoever is there is but like a figure, a paid actor, uh, someone wearing a mask. And the chaos that's happening now is just to help awaken those who are maybe, you know, in traffic, coming out of traffic. What I mean by that is uh, what in the spiritual uh, uh, truth or community we call uh, normies or sleepers. And that's with no insult. It's just that you got some catching up to do, right? It's finished the days of I don't want to hear. Like get on the train or miss it. All right, so last word of advice is uh, the star card. That one jumped out. So star is the age of Aquarius. That is what we are entering. We are now in the golden era. And it's all about a beautiful vulnerability, a lot of healing, and a lot of aid from off-world energy, the alliance. Now, when I talk about off-world energy and the alliance, I'm not specific. I'm not talking about specific off-world species. Rewind to a few videos I've done recently and, uh, you know, not all species, off-world species who we thought were benevolent were actually benevolent. A lot were extremely neutral. But what I mean is probably future versions of ourselves are whatever, like, the good rebellion is without naming any specific species. It would seem like a collaboration of certain ones whoever they are, but this final message is about healing. So we are aided by this alliance. It is written in our destiny that we awaken, that we heal and find that newborn uh, vulnerability that is not like, you know, uh, whatever indoctrination we've had from the beginning of time, like religion, like born in sin. And there is no fucking truth to that nonsense. This is new beginnings. So there you go, guys, and I'm going to ask uh, my beautiful quartz crystal pendulum. So, <clears throat> uh, pendulum, hi yourself. Am I accurate with today's reading? 
on Trudeau. Okay, so is this why, um, like, I don't see much of Trudeau right here. Like, it went into, like, the whole financial system, like, back to uh, silver, gold, platinum standard. Is a reason why I don't have much about Trudeau is because there is the original one is no longer there. So who we're seeing there is an actor sponsored and hired or directed by said the strength card, the uh, good militia, the good army, the white hats. Okay, so when I ask about him, we don't need to say more because that's over. Like he's not going to go any further and be re-elected there is no him okay but there is um the financial system this is what that is saying and it's a positive ending and am i accurate with my final card the star that it is the alliance so like a good team of off-worlders the rebellions see probably like in star wars i guess yes that's exactly what it is so we're getting into the age of aquarius which brings us to the golden era. Is there any way I am wrong in this reading or feeling or whatever? So although it looks like it's looping, it just has to switch drive and that is a no, guys. So very encouraging. So Trudeau is a non-thing right now. So whatever we're seeing and all the chaos between left and right and his own cabinet that's trying to separate from him. This is all made to see, right? To bring past to present so that the old guard crumbles down. That's all it is. So we got to be mindful, huh? mindful of our thoughts. Don't get trapped too much into all this political nonsense. And, you know, again, get your pendulum. I have a video on my YouTube on how to activate your pendulum. Listen to your sacral chakra. When something is stressful, you're watching news and you have anxiety, stress, that's a lie. This is not good for you. If you have happiness and joy and euphoria, that is always the truth, right? Good feelings come from what is spoken about the truth. And negative feelings, it's when it's a lie, right? It's very, very simple. So you listen here, let go of the ego and go within like the animals would do, right? They could always sense a, a bad weather coming or, you know, hostility on its way. You know, they follow their intuition. So I hope you like my little video. And we are August 1st, and I will catch you all on our next reading. So be well, be happy, be true to yourself and good to others, and uh, go hug much animals today. I'll catch you later. Rock and roll. <coughs> Cheers.